Okay, before we get um, too involved, I just want to take the time out to say that uh, those of you who have been following the Vulcan Report um, for the last couple of days, if you recall yesterday I told you that you can expect accelerated uh, sell off into the close. Well, uh, those of you who held positions overnight and trailed those positions, uh, you may want to think about going ahead and taking profit and getting out on those. Those of you who are have taken new positions today, you may want to do the same. We could have a, a pretty explosive rally going into today's close. So the reason for that is because it's Friday. Uh, we call that take back Friday. What that means is if the market's been down all week or the majority of the week, on Friday it will usually reverse as uh, shorts take profit for the weekend so they can go and party. Uh, vice versa, if the market's been up all week, you can expect a significant down day on Friday as the longs take profit so they can go party on the weekend. All right. Uh, normally, most people like to go home flat. They don't like to hold positions over the weekend um, because of the uncertainty that anything can jump off. And things usually like to jump off on, on Sunday evening, Sunday night. So just as FYI, uh, those of you who are, who, are, who are in the market right now, consider that as we could see significant uh, turnaround on the close. Uh, another thing I want to say too is that if you're not making money right now with, with the Vulcan report, what's stopping you? You have free access, unlimited access to the most up-to-date, the most amazing trading information for free on the internet in the world. There's nothing else like the Vulcan Report. Uh, you have Pandora's little black box that gives you um, buy and sell signals telling you where to get in, where to get out, where to take profit. Uh, the track record, you won't find another track record like this. Um, you know, a lot of people claim to have something and they charge you subscription fees and everything else, but you're getting it for free. Um, and you're getting it in real time. You're, you're, you're getting things before they happen. I even put out videos during the trading day to keep you abreast of what's happening. So those of you who have not been taking advantage of this, I strongly advise you to start doing so. For those of you who don't know anything about the markets and don't know how to trade, but would like to be able to profit from what's happening when the markets go up and down, uh, go ahead and send me over a, um, uh, a note message, however you do it, you know, private message, whatever YouTube calls it, and we can chat, we can uh, figure something out. Uh, I am a hard gun, so I have clients that I trade for um, who don't have the uh, the time or wherewithal to do it, and they just rather me do it for them, and we split the profit. So if that's something that you are uh, more privy to, then just uh, shoot me over a note, and we can chat. All right, let's move on. Right now, I want to take a look at the... Uh, the US dollar and we want to look at bonds and interest rates to kind of get a gauge of where we're going. Uh, the last video uh, was talking about gold and silver spot and crude oil futures. Right now crude oil is kind of leading the market so to speak. Crude oil has sold off significantly below the, uh, the May 6 inflection point. But the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P 500 have not. The only other market to do that is Goldman Sachs. So Goldman Sachs and crude oil are kind of leading the way right now. We'll get into that. And I'll point some of that out as we go forward. Uh, let's just get the technicals out of the way on the uh, U.S. dollar, and then we'll, we'll jump into some of that. Okay, this is ticker symbol UUP. This is the tradable for those of you who want to actually trade the US dollar, if you want to go long or short, uh, this is the ticker symbol to do it with, UUP. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. During the t uh, past 10 bars, there have been four white up candles and four black down candles, so we have a draw. During the past 50 bars, there have been 27 white up candles and 21 black down candles for a net of six white up candles. A long lower shadow occurred on the close of Thursday's trading. This is typically a bullish signal, uh, particularly when it occurs near a low price level at a support level or 
when your security is oversold okay uh, as far as our swing index we have a pulse scan reading of 38 uh, negative 38.54 okay that's uh, that's oversold territory right there so we could get a turn upward uh, on in, in Friday's trading we'll have to wait and see and see how that closes um, currently the market pulse is negative since it's trading below its signal line and the pulse scan crossed above the swing VIX two periods ago so we're, we're, it looks like the market may um, try to uh, come out from this oversold condition uh, we do have a uh, positive trend channel the trend channel is up this means that positive momentum has entered into the market so we expect sideways to higher prices within the next three to five days in addition to that <clears throat> the last uh, signal was an oversold buy as of today uh, the swing VIX crossed its moving average since that has happened the US dollar index price has decreased 0.40% and has ranged from a high of $25.16 to a low of $24.87. As far as the market trend is concerned, currently the trend is bullish, but it's in a retracement, as you can see. We're bullish here, it's telling you the trend is bullish, and we have been for, for a while now. We're trading above the Kumo cloud here. But we are in a tracement because we, we topped out here and then we pulled back. So we, we topped out up here around the 25.83 level. And then uh, as of Thursday's close, we hit a low of 24.87. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the trend momentum reading is bullish because we're still above the long-term period moving average at $23.92. However, we're below the intermediate and short-term period moving averages. The $25.13 level is going to be critical. We're going to need to close above that so that we can start to build some upward momentum in this market. So uh, 2513 is what we're looking for for Friday's uh, trading. As for the trend strength, were bullish consolidation as I mentioned. As for volatility, the US dollar index closed above the lower band by 21.8%. As for Pandora's little black box, uh, we do have a, a warning posted, uh, possible inside day or a bullish retracement. In other words, we can, we're probably gonna stop selling off and on Friday we're probably going to, to start to trend back upward but there's still a risk that we could retrace a little bit further right now I don't see that only because as you can see here we're within the third blue bar now so positive momentum is starting to creep in intraday price projections for Friday are resistance at $24.97 support at $24.89 